Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Edit Creations. Today I have for you four additional layouts from the Moment Like These Cut Above kit and the companion kit I did get from Kelly Baxter Fitzgerald. We're going to be working on the next four layouts in this session, and it is You and Me, Lovely Days, Happy and Bright, and Celebrate. I did try to get to summer, but Lovely Days took quite a while, and you'll figure that out in a minute when I start explaining all the cuts I did. So let's get to showing these layouts. So the first one I have for you today is the You and Me. This would be considered, what, January, February, March, April, and it's very springy. The background paper is Glacier and then White Daisy. This piece is from the actual kit, and it is three by eight and a quarter. I used Glacier here and here on both these pages. These are three by six and a half for three of them, and this one down here is one and a half by six and a half to allow for space for the title. The photo mats are two and three quarters by three. They're just not quite a square. I wanted to have a little more of a, a border around them. I cut these in half. I popped these three flowers. These are flat. I did use the flowers from the same page. And this border is a 12 inch border that I cut eight pieces at one and a half inches so I could use it on every page. The You and Me is stickers from the kit. And they, um, they are already have a little border around them and everything. So you just pretty much have to lay them down. You could pop them up. I opted to do them flat this time. So let's move on to the next one. This one is the one that gave me heart palpitations today. There is a lot of paper on this sucker. Okay, so let's start at the top. Well, let's start at the base. So it's White Daisy. And then I did Bluebell from the kit. And I flagged the ends. This one is a half an inch by eight and a half. This one is from the kit. It is the polka dot and it is flagged as well. This one is five eighths by eight and a half. The ballerina plaid from the kit, I cut at one inch by eight and a half and flagged the ends. The grid paper, I have a heart here. I have a heart sticker on this one to kind of balance it. This one is one by eight and a half with the flagged ends. This is a kind of an avocado. It's from the kit, so it's probably its closest sister to avocado, slightly different. Um, I cut this one in half at one and a half by eight, and I just left it. I didn't flag any of the ends there. The next one is a grid pattern that is uh, one fourth by eight and a half. I also did not flag that end. The bluebell that came with the kit was not as long as I wanted, and so I used my bluebell and I cut that from at three by eight and a half. I used the lighter side. I flagged this next one, which is the grid pattern. This is 0.75 or three quarters of an inch by eight and a half with the ends flagged. Notice I staggered the ends. So flagged, 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 flagged. And down here, flagged. This is a tag I made with the Stampin' Up Punch my little trusty tag punch. This piece is two by seven on both of them. This one was another piece off of the main page. This was actually a strip, I believe, that was already punched out. I had a little heart um, paper clip here. I had some flower brads that I added in, another heart sticker here. This is a sticker from the kit. I added paper, um, Paper. I added ribbon with some twine at all of the tagged ends. These are some old Olive Stampin' Up paper clip bows that I had gotten years ago. I had just had never used them, so I decided to see what they looked like, and I thought they fit in well. Um, this little date area is from the kit and Lovely Day. Um, just know if you move them too much, they will keep kind of popping up. And I think I already showed you that sticker. 
So that is that layout. Like I said, that one took a lot of time today. This one actually is one of my favorites. I had never really done a layout in peach before, and I really liked the pattern paper that came with the kit. It was just quite the pretty little paper. So I decided to cut the edges off and get this strip and then cut these pieces, which were around a white center. So um, in cutting these, the, let's see, so peach as the background, and this is kind of a desert rose colored. Um, so I did use desert rose here. Sorry to, to skip around. So the pattern paper from the kit, I cut at one and a half by eight and a half. Uh, this is one and a half by eight and a half. And three quarters by eight and a half. This piece right here is one by eight and a half. And so I cut that from one sheet and made that. The prior kit had actually two prior kits. It's the, the, the you and me on that paper above this paper had some paper with just some little um, bursts, like little star bursts. I used that paper for a couple of the photo mats just so that it wasn't being put to waste. Oh, uh-oh, sorry. Um, these pieces are from the kit. I have debated if I'm gonna color those in. I haven't decided yet. I use these heart stickers. These are little tag type stickers. I popped this sticker, popped this uh, flagged banner, put a little sticker there, used one of the little stickers here, popped the two flowers, cut out the leaves and cut around as best I could. Um, I did a little better job one of the, on one of them than I did on the other. Um, but I cut a little closer so there wasn't as much white because I was making the flower pop and not the leaves. I love to do that. It gives it that little oomph that, you know, just makes your layout nice. I did pop these flags. I added some twine here and I secured it down with a brad. Um, the white paper behind these photo mats is seven by eight and a half. I cut two of those. The photo mats right here, here, and here, and here. So four of them at three by four, one at four by four. I wanted to mimic this because I had two pieces here and I had only one for here. So I thought mimicking this size would make it feel more um, conducive to each other. Let's see, anything else on this one that's important? Not seeing anything else. But that is the happy and bright layout. So the last layout out of the four is the Celebrate Kit. It's their 4th of July version. I'm not a big person for the red and the blue together. Their original one has a lot more red in it. And I opted to cut that out. So what I did is I went with a sapphire background. And then the pattern paper from the kit I cut at 4 by 8.5. I then got out some blue glitter paper, which I believe is sapphire. I don't have a lot of blue, and I have three sheets of this, so it kind of leads me down the, the thing of, yeah, it's probably sapphire um, from close to my heart. And so I cut that at a half an inch by eight and a half, and I did four of those. Then I cut out this silver paper. I found it, I was going to use a silver mirror paper, and I was in my stash, and I found this, and it is brushed metal paper by Best Creations. It's just got a lot of movement in it. And so I thought it would be perfect right down here. And so this is six by one inch. I cut four of those. And then I cut the fireworks out of the brushed metal. And um, on the Cricut, I just found some fireworks that I liked and just started cutting. Um, then the next thing I did was I cut out the photo mats and I used the, the lighter side of, of, sa of sapphire paper. I've got a lot of stuff in my way real quick. Let me check that out. Okay, so the sapphire paper, I used the lighter side. I did three, three by four um, photo mats and one four by six. I used the tag and the stars from the kit 
I did not use any of the red ones, like I said earlier. And I also shied away from some of the ones that were, oh, they were like a, a turquoise -y. They had a little bit of a turquoise color in them. I didn't use those because I didn't want a bunch of clashing colors. So then I used the date sticker for from the kit on that. And the Celebrate, if you look at it, it's outlined in red. It's actually more of like a cinnamon color. So with that, I took and I hand cut or fussy cut around it to take off the red so I could have this just be more of a blue, silver, white layout. Then I challenged myself. That was a lot of fun. I took my sequins. I've got the loose sequins, the silver ones from close to my heart. There's stars and all sorts of little goodies in there. And I decided if I was going to use sequins, I was going to challenge myself to gluing them anywhere they dropped. Now that is something I've never done before and it was actually fun. It was something I think I'll do again on a few layouts. We'll see how that goes because I do like sequins but I actually don't care to glue them all down. I wish you could just like throw them and they would just stay. But these are um, of course not that type of a sequin. Not that that really ever exists except for um, little glue dots on them and even those you couldn't just toss them. So my first toss area was here and everywhere that one landed I glued it down. This one right here I wish you could see better. I wonder if you can. There's a little star underneath it. I fell in love with that. Then I did um, well, it was more of this area and a couple landed over here. So I thought well why not let's go for it. And then I moved over to this bottom area since I was already kind of at the bottom and I just kind of scattered them. And then I got up to the top and over. So everywhere there's a sequin, it landed, I glued. It was a lot of fun. Very different than my normal style. So it's always nice to kind of step out of the, the same box and, and just kind of have fun, which I did. I ended this day on a lot of fun and that was nice to do because that one layout was stressful. So have an amazing day. I am so glad you were able to watch my video and please subscribe. Thank you so much for the comments I've been getting. I, I really love some of those layouts too. Um, yes, anytime you need anything, just let me know if you need more information that I haven't provided, but I try to provide as much as possible in the description below. So again, have an amazing day. Thank you again. Bye.